Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing very important and interesting topic counting figures. As we all know that we will be getting questions from counting figures in competent examinations like SSC, RRB, when you are writing these particular examinations, you will be getting questions frequently in examinations. Then actually if you are going to count them in a normal way, it consumes a lot of time. So what we will be doing is like, we will be discussing simple short tricks to solve these questions in examinations so that you can mark these answers in just 2 seconds of time. And you know that most commonly we will be coming across counting figures from squares, rectangles, triangles will be coming across all these figures so we'll be discussing each and every figure in detail how many squares you have in a figure how many triangles you have in a figure how many rectangles you have in a figure we will discuss all this with simple tricks and if you observe most frequently you'll be getting questions from triangles why because in triangles you'll be having more number of variations so what we'll be doing is like we'll be solving some previous questions so that you'll be getting a clear idea on that how to apply the applications in those diagrams and get those answers in just two seconds of time okay if you are new to our channel and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you'll be getting the notification once the video is uploaded and i need all you guys to share our videos with maximum number of persons try to reach with maximum number of persons why because i need support from you guys and i am going to come across with really the best content so let us look at one more important variation based upon triangle okay so we have two figures and you say how many triangles are there okay so i will be saying you a simple short trick technique observe here and you can mark this answer in just two seconds of time okay so observe here carefully now if you observe here how many triangles are there in this figure now if you look here in this figure you have total one triangle yes one triangle in this figure next similarly let us example if i am going to insert one more new triangle in this particular figure if I insert one more new triangle in this particular figure, I am going to have four extra triangles. Did you come across these four triangles? If not, observe here one. This is one triangle. This is one more triangle. This is one more triangle. And this is one more triangle. So total four triangles. One, two, three, and this is like four. So total four extra triangles. In the similar way, let us say example, if I am going to insert one more new triangle inside that, if I insert one more new triangle inside that, now I am going to get four more extra, four more extra. Look here, now this is one, this is two, this is three, and this one is like four. So four extra, which means simply speaking, for one big triangle, I am writing one. If I am going to insert one new triangle, I will get four. If I am going to insert one more new triangle, I am getting four inside. Let let us say if I am going to insert one more new triangle. If I insert one more new triangle, I am going to get four more extra. Let us example if I insert one more new triangle. If I insert one more new triangle, I am going to get four more extra. So simply speaking, for big triangle, you will write one. After that, if a triangle is going to be insert inside the big triangle in this particular format, for every one triangle inserted, you will get one, 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 four extra. So if you observe here, as four triangles are inserted inside it you are going to have four triangles extra so total how many triangles are there means 4 4 16 16 plus 1 we can say that there are 17 triangles in this particular figure okay now let us look at this one for big triangle i am going to write one after that look how many triangles are there inside for each and every triangle inside you'll be getting four triangles extra if you look here how many triangles are there inside one two three as you have four triangles inside so as you have three triangles inside you'll get three fourths extra so three fourths extra total you can say that you are going to have 13 triangles in this particular figure okay now let us look at this particular figure for big triangle you are going to write one after that how many triangles are there inside inside if you look one two three four as you have four triangles you'll get four four extra okay so four 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 so totally you can say there are going to be 17 triangles in this particular figure so simple whenever the figures are in this way for bigger triangle you will write one triangle and next what you will dislike for this each triangle whatever you are going to get inside for every triangle inserted inside you are going to write four 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 triangles extra as you have three triangles inserted so three fours if you look here here you have four triangles inserted inside one two three four as you have four triangles inside you are going to get four extra that is like four 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 totally are going to have 17 now if you look here in the same you'll have one more important variation as well observe here carefully one more important variation observe here carefully so that you'll be getting a clear read on this one okay 
hope this is clear to you from this i am going to show you one more important variation one more important variation observe here carefully let us say example in this figure in this figure how many triangles are there means one and if the figure is in this way how many are there means you are going to say it as four yes after that now this is important point observe here carefully let us say if i am going to draw a line in this way how many extra triangles you are going to get now you are going to get two triangles extra that is one and two two triangles extra and you are not supposed to say one plus two three why because this triangle is already counted in this four triangles that is the reason i am counting only extra triangles extra triangles how many means one two so you are getting two extra triangles similarly if you are going to draw a line here as well then also you are going to get two extra triangles let us Let's say if you are going to draw line here as well then also you are going to get two extra triangles so total how many extra triangles you got means two plus two plus two totally are getting six extra triangles which means if you are going to extend these lines for each extension you are getting two triangles two triangles two triangles total how many means two plus two plus two you are going to get six triangles yes now the same logic observe here carefully if you look here if you look here how many triangles are there now means now as a triangle is inserted inside this you are going to get four extra now if you are extending the lines similar in this way if you are extending the lines two extra two extra and two extra total two 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 you will be having total six let us say one more triangle inserted inside if one more triangle inserted inside you will get four extra now let us say if the extension is also happening extension happens two extra two extra two extra total six now total how many are there means 10 10 10 30 30 plus 1 i can say it is total 31 triangles simple logic anyway you know that for bigger triangle you'll get one how many triangles are there inside those many fours you are going to get for every extension for every extension each four you'll get one six as well each four you'll get one six if you observe here you have three fours and all the three fours have extension so for three fours you'll get three sixes extra total you'll have 10 plus 1 31 triangles in this particular figure now let us observe this particular figure let us say i'm going to do extensions here now let us say you have extension here and let us say you have extension here as well let us say extension you have here as well total how many triangles are there means anyway if you observe here for this triangle i have extension so six extra for this triangle also i have extension so six extra but if you look here for this triangle i don't have extension as i don't have extension i am not going to add six okay just i am going to add only for the triangles wherever i have extension now if you look here for this triangle i have extension similarly for this triangle also i have extension as reason only these two triangles have extension only for these two fours i will write six six and for this triangle i don't have any extension so i'm not going to write four so total how many triangles are there means 10 plus 10 20 20 plus 5 i'm going to say 25 triangles are there in this particular figure so simple one right now let us say i will modify this figure you say answer for this one okay i'm extending here similarly i'm going to extend this one as well I'm going to extend this one as well and you say how many triangles are there in this particular figure now if you look here for this triangle I have done extension but for this triangle I did not do extension but for this triangle I have done extension and inside one I did not do extension which means I have done extension alternatively so even you are supposed to write sixes alternatively for this one there is extension you'll write six for this triangle there is no extension if necessary you can observe here for this one there is no extension of lines as there is no extension you are not supposed to write but if you observe here again for the inner one we have extension as for the inner one you have extension again you'll write six and if you look here again the inner one the inner one you does not have any extension that is like innermost one you don't have extension so you are not going to write six okay so for this you have extension so six extra for this you have extension so six extra total how many are there means this will be 10 this will be 10 20 4 plus 4 plus 1 this will be 9 so total how many are there means 29 triangles are there in this particular figure okay so whenever you have format in this way it's like simple what you will do is like for bigger triangle you'll write one the number of triangles inserted inside those many fours you are going to write if you observe here in this four triangles are inserted so you are right sorry in this three triangles are inserted so you are writing three fours okay now if you look here if the extensions are going to be there for each four you'll get one three for each four you'll get one sorry for each four you'll get one six if you have extensions what will happen is like for each four you'll have six as that as the reason this triangle is having extension you're having six extra this triangle is 
is having extension so 6 extra this triangle is having extension so 6 extra so for each 4 you will get 1 1 1 1 6 okay so when you add all of them then you will come to know how many triangles you are going to have in this figure okay so simply what you will do is like practice this once if you practice this and once you are going to observe them then solving number of triangles counting will be really simple just what you need to do is like just follow whatever I am going to say so that it will be simple for you is that clear with everyone let us look at one more important pattern based upon the triangles even you'll be having questions in this way they will ask us to find how many triangles are there in this particular figure okay now i will be showing you wonderful short trick to show how many triangles are there in this particular figures okay simple short trick just observe here carefully and you'll come to know how many triangles are there in this particular figure now if you look here if you count it orally if you count it orally how many triangles are there means one two three four five six seven eight nine you have single triangles nine after that look at the combination if you look at the combination this is going to be one triangle right so 10 if you look at combination this will be one more triangle 11 and if you look at this triangle this will be one more triangle 12 and if you look at the bigger one this will be one more triangle so totally you are going to have how many triangles means you are going to have total 13 triangles in this particular figure now in examination point of view i can't count all these things yes then in examination point of view how to solve this question in just a fraction of second yes i will show you a wonderful technique observe here carefully okay so just what you need to do is like try to know how many divisions are there divisions now if you look here number of divisions one two three okay as you have three divisions write those three divisions okay simple thing as you have three divisions write it as one two and three okay we have three divisions right three so simply what you will do is like for one right one for one right one after that one plus two simply do one plus two what is one plus two one plus two is nothing but three next three plus three three plus three what is three plus three three plus three is nothing but six now add all these numbers now when you add all these numbers six plus three plus one six plus three plus one is nothing but ten but answer is not yet completed you need to look at one more point look here one more point is like now start counting from down start counting from down when you are counting it from down count it alternatively okay count it alternatively when you are counting it alternatively what you will do is like leave the first place count the second place leave the first place count the second place simply speaking what you will do is like alternatively you need to count the places you leave this place and you'll count this one you leave this place and you'll count next one simply so when you count this one you need to count three so when you add three we can say that 10 plus 3 the total number of triangles in this figure is going to be 13 simple technique what you'll just be is like know the number of divisions here number of divisions are nothing but three so three divisions one two three after that what you'll do for one you'll write it as one one plus two this will be three three plus three this will be six when you add all these numbers it will be ten okay after that what you'll do is like counting from down onwards counting from down write the numbers alternatively write the numbers alternatively counting from down add the numbers whatever you have alternatively when you count leave the first number add the second number leave the third number add the fourth number so when you add you are supposed to add three so ten plus three is nothing but thirty okay i will show you one more example so that you'll be getting a clear idea on this one divisions one two three four as you have four divisions right one two three and four simple for one you'll write it as one after that one plus two one plus two is nothing but three next three plus three is nothing but six six plus four six plus four is nothing but ten now add all these numbers when you add all these numbers it is going to be how much 20 okay not yet completed i told you to go from down when you go from down check the alternate places write your alternate places i will leave this place and i will write this place i will write this i will leave this place and i will write this one if i write this one six plus one six plus one it is going to be seven so you can say the total number of triangles in this figure will be 27 triangles simple so first you add all this after that when you are going from down always you need to go from down when you are going from down take the alternate places numbers and add those numbers alternate places you have six you have one when you add six plus one it will be seven 20 plus seven total number of triangles will be like 27 now if you observe here divisions one two three four five as you have five divisions right one two three 
4, 5. Simple. For 1, write it as 1. After 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 will be 3. Next 3 plus 3, 3 plus 3 will be 6. Next 6 plus 4, 6 plus 4 will be 10. Next 10 plus 5, 10 plus 5 will be 15. Now what you will do? Add all these numbers. When you add all these numbers, this will be how much? This will be 20, 10 and this will be 35. So total you are going to have 35 from here. Not yet completed. I told you to go from down. While you are going from down, write the alternate places numbers. Leave this number write this number leave this number write this number leave this number when you're going to add the numbers 10 plus 3 10 plus 3 it is going to be 13 which means 35 plus 13 we can say that total number of triangles in this figure is going to be 48 triangles so simple technique whenever you have questions in this way you just follow the technique whatever we have said that is like know the number of divisions once if you know the number of divisions write the number of divisions and go on adding that will be 1 for the first one for 1 you'll write this 1 after that 1 plus 2 will be 3 3 plus 3 will be 6 6 plus 4 will be 10. When you add all these numbers, you got it as 20. And one more important point, now you need to start from down, down to up. Take the alternate numbers and add it. Take the alternate numbers and add it. When you are going with down, alternate numbers means first you leave the first number, write the second number. Leave third number, write fourth number. So 6 plus 1, it will be 7. So we can say the total number of triangles is going to be 27. So whenever you have figures in this particular format, just to follow whatever we have said, this simple short trick will help you to say the answer in just 2 seconds of time okay hope you guys have enjoyed this session if you think that this session is helpful for you and if you need more of such interesting and smart logics then please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you'll be getting the notification once the video is uploaded and i need all you guys to share our videos with the maximum number of persons try to share with your friends your family members your facebook groups your whatsapp groups and try to reach maximum number of persons thank you have a nice day meet in the next session